Jerry Greenfield, co-founder of Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream, visited St. Francis College to give students a taste of his company's success. The Brooklyn-born ice cream man founded his business in 1978 with his lifelong friend Ben Cohen after they realized college just wasn't their strong suit. The whole world is very, very lucky that I did not become a doctor. What impressed me the most about his talk today was how he still persevered after getting denied from more than 20 med schools and then how he became the successful businessman he is today. From humble beginnings, Ben and Jerry's kicked off after taking a correspondence course in ice cream making. They opened their first shop in an old gas station with $12,000 and all used equipment. I think the biggest influence was Ben and me failing at everything we were trying to do. And that led us to want to do something together that would be fun. Greenfield said Cohen is the creative genius behind their crunchy yet smooth creamy ice cream. But the value of their product wasn't their only concern. Jerry made clear the importance of his company's social responsibility. The business world typically looks at value as just money. I think value can be in contributions to the community. In the end, the most important things in life are things that you can't really measure. Just as their business was starting to grow, competitor haagen tried to stop distributors from carrying their ice cream. But Ben and Jerry's fought back. Because there was so much of a public outcry, Pillsbury and haagen backed down. And that's really what allowed Ben and Jerry's to eventually be distributed across the country. It shows how you shouldn't feel afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try new things and explore. It all worked out. In 2000, they sold the company to Unilever for $325 million. Ben has always said to stumble is not to fall. It is to move forward more quickly and certainly all throughout the history of Ben and Jerry's there have been failures along the way and if you're not failing at things you're not trying enough new stuff. It was a delight to have such a successful entrepreneur share his business acumen here with us today. Reporting for SFC TV, I'm Julia Giamona.